What's up guys, Kuro here and today with a new video. So I haven't been active uh, recently because I had a lot to do and Bemco was kind of slow with the new content and I have also started streaming on Twitch for those of you who didn't know. So yeah, come and check me out there so we can talk. So, um, Bemco started to give us new content finally and today we finally get the new um, equipment farming event for the next ranking event and it's against the Fatal Scythe, so let's just see how we're doing against him. So it's pretty much been a year I think, because it's a one year anniversary and that's the next ranking uh, event equipment creation thing. So let's just try to clear it on Yex. I've already cleared everything, it's quite easy and I think it's kind of a good practice for the next ranking event if we will ever get one again. But I think we'll probably get the next ranking event and new characters on Monday as the ranking accessory is from the neutral element we'll probably get um, neutral characters. Maybe something like OS version 3.0 uh, <laughs> which would be pretty funny. Okay, so EX shouldn't be a problem, but um, yeah, they will release the Master Plus One um, difficulty mode later. And I think, yeah, you can get some rewards from this. So the EX stage only drops like the Rarity 2 equipment, and you need like 12 of them. Is my math correct? I think you need. Oh no, you don't need 12, you need more. Yeah. You need more of them. So yeah, EX isn't really that great to farm. So if you want, then farm a master and you can get more equipment if you get an S rank or master. So I highly advise you to go with a team. So, but the boss attack pattern is pretty easy. If you do enough damage at the beginning, then he will start with the unparable attack. And after this, he will do the parable attack, the spin thing. And then you can just, yeah, I'm just going to switch my Asna here and kick his ass a little bit. Then he will do like two unparable attacks, you can jump over it, but I'm just too lazy and I kind of suck at jumping here. <laughs> so I'm just going to dodge and after this he will do a parable attack again, so pretty easy. If you go with teammates, then have one guy who does a debuff at the beginning and um, another one who does the, uh, what was it called, stun. And then you should be able to kill him with the third guy doing a bit of damage. Yeah, it's pretty easy to get an S rank on Master. I don't know about Master plus one, but for farming reasons, I think Master is the one with the best drop rates um, because you all most of the time get a rarity three item or accessory, and you can get one from the end in the chest if you get an S rank, or you get like forty five thousand gold or something like this. So, uh, 55 seconds, yeah, pretty decent, I guess I can do it faster. I think for S rank you need like 40 seconds, but yeah, I've already collected like uh, 3 Rarity 4 equipment, I think that's enough for the next ranking event, I think it's a solo thing. I also have like my ranking event team ready, I don't know if I want to pull the next banner. I pulled on the pirate banner because they give you a buff and a debuff, which is pretty good. So let's just, uh, let's just see, um, I don't know how many stuns you actually need, I think three, but let's just try it out. So let's show off my cute new pirates. Mm, this Asna is pretty dang strong. So yo, a stun unit, what about, yep, yeah, let's just take the sprite. Bright Yuki and Kirito. And after this, just give them a few equipments. Um, I don't have that many maces. That's not so amazing. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm, give her a good accessory. And give Kirito some stuff. Okay, let's give him his dual blades. And maybe give him worse equipment. Um, I think I will just give him the Yu Gi Oh one. And an accessory. Mm. As our opponent isn't from the water element, I think this thing is a little bit better. And they've also buffed like the bow units, so they're pretty strong now, all bow units. So, um, sorry again for not being that active for the last few weeks. I will try to get more active again, starting in like three weeks. 
because I'm going on vacation starting on Monday. Yay! So, um, I think if you apply a buff, you can then stun him with three SS3s. Let's see. So, one. Um, okay, now two and three. I think this should stun him now. Okay, nice. So, let's try to use this uh, Kirito and Asna. What's oh, Asna is really cool. I really like the animation. Can we do it without taking damage? I hope so. Okay, you can actually jump over it. As I said, I'm just too lazy and maybe too stupid to jump over it. And after two of these unparable things, he will do the parable thing, thing again. And now he will do this stupid wide range teleport, which is just annoying. Let's get some MP back. Should do... Okay, it's a teleport. Let's just run away from him. Okay, this one is a little bit slower. After he reaches like two health bars, his uh, spinning attack gets slower and he gets like a buff. So be aware of this. So it should be two teleports again. One and another one. Oh, okay, no. So, um, yeah, looks like he changed his pattern a bit. Hey, dual blades are so strong after 50 plus combos. So, yeah, just abuse them. This character is pretty cool. Every character sitting on a chair is cool, like the sprite scene on. Maybe we should try to get her. I really want to spread Sinon. Or the mate Sinon. Hmm. I don't know. I put like the first step and got like the princess Sinon, which is. Yeah, I don't know. Her SS3 is pretty cost efficient, but the damage is like so low that it's actually worthless. But we will see. Maybe she will come handy in some ranking events. Um, let's see. Let's see the stats for the new ra uh, ranking accessory. So. Stats wise, it's pretty good actually, but the battle skill, I don't know, like the battle skill is switch skill attack plus 6% and yeah, it's kind of trash in my opinion. But yeah, that's for the ranking, accessory farming. So that's it for this video guys, thanks for watching, if you liked it then please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as this helps me out a lot. So starting on Monday I will go on vacation for a few weeks and I will probably not be able to upload any videos or stuff like this. Maybe I will, I will see. But um, I have a lot of character stories so I will probably share them with you guys over the course of the time which I'm away. So hopefully you will like it and I will see you when I'm back. Peace.